Hi class, I just want to go over with you real quick the term project, what's expected, uh, especially for this milestone, milestone one that is due uh, coming up. Uh, just to go over what things might look like for this milestone and what eventually maybe the term project will look like at the end. Keep in mind, this is just an idea. I do require at least two pages. The first page being an explanation of the diagram and then the second page being the diagram. So as you can see, I've got a document up here with a suggested term project, what this is gonna look like. So this is the email to the president uh, that outlines what the president expects and what you as the network admin are going to accomplish. It's a good idea to always respond back, answering their questions and addressing their requests by listing their request and then saying how you're going to address it. That way they know you're keying into what they're talking about and they know that their ideas are getting through to you and so they're more receptive to what you have to say to them. So keep your email, your presentation uh, short but uh, professional. It would be nice if you could do an intro just to kind of briefly explain the project. And this right here is just a simplified diagram of what it might look like. It doesn't have to look like this the first milestone. Uh, so eventually, maybe by the second milestone, it'll start to look like this. You can use any tool. There have been a couple of free tools suggested. You can use Visio, you can use Photoshop, you can use Paint, pretty much anything to create a diagram of what a network might look like. Keep in mind, if you are presenting this to professionals, the more interesting it looks, the more receptive they will be to what you're talking about. Plus, they'll be able to key into things. You know, if you have a computer icon, it just makes sense when you say, yeah, this is a computer, rather than just having a box that says computers. That works also, but try to do this project as if you were truly presenting it to an administrator of a company. So for milestone one, you can keep it simple. Just send me a rough idea. You can even draw something on paper, scan it, and include it in your document. Just send me a real rough idea. This is what I'm expecting to do. The email or the introduction or whatever up here, just real brief, real basic. This is what I plan to do with it. And again, you can get as detailed as you wish. Eventually, your diagram will start to look like this, to where it starts including VLANs, and we'll talk about that later. Uh, specific equipment, if you want to include that, uh, IP addresses, that sort of thing. So that way, this document here is not going to make a huge amount of sense to an administrator. But as you briefly go over how the network is segregated, you know, having this kind of shows them that you've really thought through the process. Those who understand it, are going to be able to key in and go, oh, I like, you know, how this is connecting. And this is also documentation for you and for anybody else involved in the process. This documentation right here is not only for them, but definitely for you. And again, anybody else in the process, it lists, you know, the, the various VLANs, their IP addresses, uh, you know, what it's for, etc. We talked about documenting this week. This sort of thing is definitely very important. You want to make sure you have a running document of what your what your network looks like. And if you want to do further recommendations and so forth, you know how uh, how you plan to implement this plan, you know the equipment that's provided, the period of performance, and any conclusions. You definitely want to, if you're going to be presenting this to somebody who's going to be paying for it, you want to sell the idea. So sell the idea, give them good information, let them know that you've really thought this through, that you've connected all of the dots, that you've got your equipment ready to go. So you kind of want to have all of your ducks in a row when you're presenting something to somebody who's going to be paying for those changes. So it's nice to have the equipment ready to go, the equipment list ready to go, maybe even some prices, 
and have a plan A and a plan B. Shoot for the moon, try for the best equipment, the best scenario, but then if there are financial issues, you can always default to plan B, which still accomplishes the mission and still gets it done within industry standards, but maybe just isn't the equipment that you would have on your wish list. So just some ideas for your term project and kind of what it might look like. Again, at least two pages would be nice, uh, but if you want to include a cover page, again, make this as professional as you can. Use this as a good exercise to see how professional you can make it. Uh, cover page, email to the president, and then if you want to do a project diagram with an intro and some explanation, that would be awesome as well. So if you have any questions, please let me know. I will post this document. Again, use this as to give you ideas. Uh, you don't have to copy this down word for word type thing. Uh, so please use your own ideas, cite any sources that you use, and then uh, again, let me know if you have any questions.